Okay, so let's do a factor reset for the Samsung Galaxy A10e and Samsung Galaxy A20 just in case that you have any of these two models, the steps are the same. And if you um, having the issue that you forgot your password, pattern or pin blocking the screen of your phone and you are not able to access to the phone settings to reset the phone, then I have a um, tutorial uh, and the link is posted on the description of this video or in the comment section. So just open that link and then follow the steps to reset your phone using volume up and power key. Okay, so let's go to settings here and find um, general management. And then let's go and hit the reset button. And it is important that you know your Google account uh, store in the backup and restore. Uh, section because you're gonna need this email and password in order to proceed and uh, verify Google after the factor reset and get to the main menu. If you are not able to um, confirm or verify Google, your phone will be blocked permanently. So um, please make sure that you have that information. Okay, so so backup account right here. You so you're supposed to have a email address there. So. If you have a computer and or another device that uh, you never have logged in with your Google account, I highly recommend you to do to do it so so you can make sure that you have the right password associated with the, this email address, okay? Because I it happened with some of my subscribers that they are they are t telling me that they are very sure that their email address associated with the password are the same. And when they try to confirm or verify, um, it doesn't it doesn't go through. It doesn't accept. So um, please please do that before do the factory reset. Okay. So uh, let's go back here and um, and do the reset. Okay. So in this section, reset options. You wanna select reset data factory data reset I'm sorry we already went through that you have to know your account and also that every downloaded applications like music picture pictures uh, contacts uh, downloaded games and any applications will be lost or delete on the phone's memory and also any email address any password stored in the phone everything is going to be removed from phone's motherboard on phone's memory so Please um, make sure that you you know this, and there's no way to retrieve them. Um, but if, as far as you did a um, backup with your Google account after this factor reset with the same account, you will be able to uh, retrieve all the information that you have uh, previously backup with your Google account. Okay, so if you are ready and you agree with this, just hit the reset button. And after this, you're gonna have to, they're gonna have to ask your lock screen, like picture, I mean, a pattern, pin, or password. And then you're gonna see this delete all on pattern. So just uh, once you hit this, there's no way to retrieve. So you are ready, and everything just hit down, and the phone will be um, reboot here. The phone will start rebooting here. So you're gonna take five to eight minutes. Okay, and just in case that you get stuck on the uh, Android logo or Samsung logo or um, track phone, um, that means that something is wrong with the motherboard and then uh, you have to long press the power key up to uh, 10 seconds and when the screen goes off and then you can start over again with the same process pressing volume. Uh, you have to do a hard reset with a link that I'm gonna leave on the description of this video or on the comment section. Okay, follow the steps to uh, do a hard reset because uh, you won't be able to go back to the home, uh, phone settings in order to perform the factory reset again. And the reason that gets stuck um, on the or oh, freeze because. Sometimes we uh, download so many applications and oh, we have a lot of um, web history 
and we fail to reboot the phone at least three times a month um, and that's when the motherboard gets ruined and doesn't the phone get freezed or it doesn't uh, power on completely and or you experience a lot of drop calls so this is the hard reset using Valium app and power key that's uh, the, the the step that actually helps a lot to fix those issues okay so it, it happened that you have to do a fact a hard reset make sure that you know Google account first make sure that you do a copy your data all your information to your Google photos so with after the factor reset you will be able to retrieve your contacts your pictures videos your dan uh, downloaded applications or applications that you have purchased and so on okay so and when you do the hard reset um, you're gonna see some options uh, you have to select wipe cache partition and wipe and data factory reset both of those are gonna help a lot to calibrate the motherboard or the phone so um, like I said any questions let me know in comments and I'm gonna try my best to come back and answer any of your question uh, so I think it's almost done it's almost five minutes and you're gonna go from there to uh, get to the initial setup screen just be patient here there you go it's almost there almost there almost there okay so we are on the initial setup screen of this samsung galaxy a10e so these are the languages available for you uh, you're gonna stay with english and hit ok and then hit the blue arrow it's funny I, you can see my light bulb and it looks like uh it looks like two eyes and one one mouth <laughs> and it's Halloween it just passed two days ago so but I don't have any design on my light bulb just the reflection <laughs> all right so let's uh, touch the I have read all and then okay hit the next uh, button to continue here and you already have an active SIM card go ahead and insert it because you never need data to confirm and verify Google uh, for now we're gonna skip this step and you have to register a Wi-Fi in case that you don't have any any um, in case that you don't have any SIM card active on the phone okay so you have to register Wi-Fi because you need data to continue and then skip anyway okay uh, select your time zone and then um, to switch the month use the arrow select the day and hit ok to save now the time minutes and then am or pm and once you have the desired time hit ok and then hit the next at the bottom of the phone in every google product i recommend you to leave everything on and hit the accept you can go ahead and create a lock screen for your phone or you can do it after we finish from phone settings and then skip anyway um, you already have a Samsung account go ahead and register or create a new one um, it is important that you create a, a Samsung account because you're gonna get the Samsung cloud which is very very helpful and useful you can store your documents and important documents Samsung Deems, uh, Find My Mobile, in case that you lost your phone, you can go to any computer with your Samsung account and actually see where your phone is located. And also, uh, um, uh, if you happen to lose your phone uh, or somebody stole it, 
you can go to your Samsung account and actually block your phone so they won't be able to access to your phone at all and your personal information and also then even will be able to they won't be able to unlock your phone or activate it on a different carrier okay so is it is it's extremely important that you create a Samsung account very 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 useful so skip this step for now I'm gonna skip it but you can go ahead and yeah, open an account and just accept terms and conditions from Boost Mobile, Metro PCS, or Strike Dark Wireless, or AT&T or T-Mobile, whatever company you are using your phone with, and all done. Okay, so we are on the main screen of this phone. Thanks so much for choosing my video. Let me know if you have any other questions. Hit the like button. And if you would like to leave a tip, um, the information on Venmo is on the description of this video, or in comment section. Thanks so much. I appreciate it.